velvet brown. Who do you think you are? Well, I'm the owner of the pie. And does that give you leave to go poking your head out amongst the stars? Believing you could take the richest, grandest prize a horse ever won? During Hollywood's golden age, movie stars achieved unparalleled fame and lived extravagant lives that seemed out of reach for most. But their carefully crafted personas could be tarnished by scandal in an instant, exposing the reality that even beloved icons can be flawed. It's good that truck pulled over. I can't stand this anymore. In the name of reason, pull yourself together. You were 10 feet over the line. 10. Milton Berle. Milton Berle carried the infamous label of being an unrepentant joke thief, earning him the nickname, the Thief of Bad Gags. His contentious relationship with RuPaul came to a head at the 1993 MTV Video Music Awards, where RuPaul publicly called him out. Their on and off camera interactions were tense, particularly during what was supposed to be a torch passing moment, which turned awkward when RuPaul went off script. RuPaul subsequently severed ties with MTV following the incident. Burl's misbehavior went on to earn him a lifetime ban from hosting NBC's Saturday Night Live. During his guest hosting stint in 1979, he attempted to dominate the entire show during rehearsals, overshadowing his fellow cast members and relying on recycled comedy bits. Despite the best efforts of Lorne Michaels to prevent the show from being rerun, copies resurfaced in 2003. Burl's actions in this instance had a significant impact on the work of others in the industry. Number 9. Charlie Chaplin Sir Charles Chaplin may have starred in silent films, but behind the scenes he was anything but quiet when, when his standards weren't met by cast and crew. Known in Hollywood as a perfectionist, Chaplin had a notorious reputation for losing his temper, behaving unreasonably and firing crew members on a whim. Throughout his life, Chaplin was married four times, each time to women considerably younger than himself. His first wife was just 17 when they married, followed by his second wife at the age of 16. At the age of 54, Chaplin married 18-year-old Una O'Neill, the daughter of the esteemed playwright Eugene O'Neill. Although Una's father disowned her because of the marriage, the couple remained together until Chaplin's death. Chaplin was reportedly abusive to all his wives and had no qualms about having extramarital affairs. Number 8. Lucille Ball while Lucille Ball made groundbreaking contributions to television and reshaped the sitcom landscape, her demanding nature behind the scenes was well documented. Tony Randall once remarked that Lucy bossed everybody around and didn't spare anybody's feelings. In 1979, Richard Burton went so far as to describe Lucy as a monster of staggering charmlessness and monumental lack of humor, adding that if he had been drinking, he might have been forced to harm her. These accounts shed light on the difficult dynamics that existed behind the scenes, despite Ball's immense influence on the industry. Number 7. Errol Flynn Charles Hyam's 1980 biography, Errol Flynn, The Untold Story, sparked controversy with its shocking allegations about the iconic swashbuckler. The claims included allegations of multiple same-sex affairs and accusations of Nazi sympathies. However, these allegations were based on circumstantial evidence and were later discredited by subsequent biographies. The popular phrase, in like Flynn, originated from three separate rape trials in 1942, in which Flynn was acquitted each time. Nevertheless, his reputation was irreparably damaged. Flynn's lifestyle choices also took a toll on his once handsome appearance, leading him to play mostly aging alcoholics in later career roles. When he died of a heart attack in 1959 at the age of 50, the coroner remarked that he had the body of an 85-year-old man, underlining the toll of his turbulent life. 6. Bing Crosby Gary Crosby, Bing Crosby's eldest son, wrote a tell-all biography in 1983, Going My Own Way, which revealed a darker side to the crooner's parenting methods. According to Gary, Bing often solved disciplinary problems with a stern lecture accompanied by a studded leather belt. Even when Gary's brothers misbehaved, he would often bear the brunt of the punishment, which went beyond spanking. Allegedly, the housekeepers subjected the children to the drowning treatment in the bathtub if they were caught talking in bed or waking up too early. Tragically, two of Crosby's children battled depression and eventually succumbed to suicide. Despite starring in seven road movies together, Bing Crosby and his co-star Bob Hope had a strained relationship off-screen. 
Bob Hope confided to a friend that he simply didn't have any affection for Bing, and at times even despised him. These revelations serve as a stark reminder that behind the glamorous facade of Hollywood, there is often a darker reality that remains hidden from public view. Number 5. Gene Kelly When Sid Carice came home from the MGM lot with bruises, her husband often assumed that she had worked alongside Gene Kelly that day. However, Kelly's behavior may have extended beyond mere roughness on the set. In 1970, reports surfaced that he was making donations to the Provisional Irish Republican Army IRA. He is said to have held secret meetings with IRA leader Cathal Golding and presented him with a £20,000 check during a covert fundraising mission in the US. Kelly is reported to have told Golding, this money is for guns. I certainly don't want it going to any do-gooders. These allegations surfaced after Kelly's death, prompting his widow, Patricia Ward Kelly, to vehemently deny them. She claimed that her late husband was proud of his Irish heritage, but was not financially well off and had no propensity for violence. 4. John Wayne Known for his conservative views, John Wayne underwent a remarkable political transformation throughout his career. Initially identifying as a socialist and liberal, he later supported Barry Goldwater in 1964, particularly for his stance against the Civil Rights Act. In a controversial 1971 Playboy interview, Wayne professed a belief in white supremacy and expressed skepticism about African Americans holding office without a perceived educational responsibility. He also publicly condemned homosexuality and found films such as Suddenly, Last Summer, and Midnight Cowboy distasteful. Despite this, he maintained a surprising friendship with Rock Hudson. Wayne's legacy is marked by controversy, with some protesting his films, calls to rename Orange County Airport, and even criticism in music, such as Public Enemies Fight the Power. Number 3. Bette Davis In the words of songwriter Kim Carnes, screen icon Bette Davis was described as fierce and she knows what it takes to make a professional blush. Producer William Fry told Vanity Fair about an incident when he was having dinner with Davis and director Herschel Doherty. Doherty accidentally wagged his finger in Davis's face, triggering a violent verbal outburst that cleared half the restaurant. Davis then calmly returned to her meal, unfazed by the commotion she had caused. The intense lighting on film sets often took a toll on Davis's legendary eyes, causing her to frequently rinse them between scenes. During the filming of Mr. Skeffington, however, someone tampered with her eye wash and poisoned it. The perpetrator was never identified, and director Vincent Sherman famously remarked to detectives, if you were to line up the cast and crew and ask them, okay, which one of you wanted to kill Bette Davis, a hundred people would put their hands up. Number 2. Joan Crawford Joan Crawford's audacity rivaled Lady Liberty's, as evidenced by her feud with Bette Davis during Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Their rivalry inspired the 2017 miniseries Feud. Crawford remained in the film despite Davis's efforts. Tensions peaked when Davis was nominated for an Oscar and Crawford wasn't, causing an uproar. In a strategic move, Crawford presented the Best Director Award at the Oscars, campaigning against Davis and sabotaging her film. When Anne Bancroft won in 1963, Crawford accepted the trophy on her behalf. Christina Crawford's Mommy Dearest, 1978, revealed Joan's abusive behavior towards her adopted daughter, although some denied it. Crawford's struggles with alcoholism and jealousy were well known, as were rumors of affairs with Marilyn Monroe and involvement in divorces. Christina Crawford's memoirs described a troubled upbringing in boarding schools and suggested that Joan adopted children for publicity. Some adoptions were questionable, with birth mothers reclaiming children. Joan left an estate of $2 million at her death in 1977, with only two adopted children receiving modest inheritances. Notably, Christina and Christopher were excluded, highlighting strained family relations. One, Mickey Rooney, in Life is Too Short, Mickey Rooney reveals his turbulent romantic life, including eight marriages and numerous affairs. He recounts a notable incident with Louise B. Mayer over an affair with Norma Shearer that disrupted the production of Marie Antoinette. Rooney's escapades with mentor Milton Berle, such as visiting a brothel and seeing Talia LeBankhead, reflect the unconventional nature of Hollywood. 
He also recounts Judy Garland's affair in explicit details about Ava Gardner, highlighting the industry's scandalous dynamic where personal lives intersect with professional personas. Hollywood journalist Craig Bennett makes even more shocking allegations in his 2019 book, True Confessions of a Shameless Gossip. Describing the actor as abrasive, nasty, short, and rude, Bennett claims Rooney's long list of sexual conquests included betting a 14-year-old Elizabeth Taylor on the set of National Velvet when he was 24. Bennett also claims that Rooney nearly wore out the casting couch by auditioning young actresses for roles that didn't exist. If it's any consolation, it's widely believed that many of Rooney's claims were either exaggerated or completely false. Should film stars feel obliged to serve as role models for their fans, or should we simply appreciate their achievements and respect their privacy? Does this perspective change your perception of these iconic figures, or do you find their behavior relatively mild compared to contemporary celebrity scandals? Can you think of any Hollywood stars that you find unpleasant? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.